All right, these are the elevators at the Richardson Building at Texas A&M University in College Station, Texas. I'm guessing it calls that elevator. On oh, this one right here, sitting on peak up. See, these are Dover. Ten's locked. Nine, eight. Mm, it's not working. Huh. That's not good. And they're saying not to use this one, so. So I guess we'll have to ride this one right here. It's the only one that's working. So we the B. Sad, this is the only one that's working. Here we are at B, but already went out. Now we'll go up to 10. Door close doesn't work. Stopping at one. Oh, and the door closed did seem to work that time. I'm guessing it stops at one automatically. Stopping at four, going up. Coming up? Yep. Which one are you going to? Eight, please. Photograph. Yeah. I don't know. This one's a Dover, which went out of business in like the 90s, so these are getting pretty hard to find. Of course, the elevator company. I'm not wounded. I film elevators and put them up on YouTube. It's like this is the only one that's working right now. Yeah, that's why I was asking because we keep calling them. If, if you go on the north one, you might be, uh, they might find your body in there in a few months. That one's down for about a month. I'm oh, wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, have a good day, sir. Here are 10, and now we'll go down to one and end the video. Yeah, door close button does not work. It's got a non ADS phone. It's got a high ceiling. And this is a big elevator. It's got a 6,000 pound capacity. Hopefully we'll get a non-stop flight down. Certificate right there. Good, we're getting a non-stop flight. Fixtures, Dover Impulse. And here we are at one. And there it goes. And yeah, those bell indicators are actually pretty cool. Like, I'll show you. Nope, it just went upstairs, so we're not gonna be able to see it. That's it.